Yes, I'm back and it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, since my retirement, I've been traveling uh, and recouping from some injuries I sustained and uh, doing some training, getting leaner, getting ready to head back out into a wilderness area. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about compass selection. Compass selection and having the right compass when you're in a wilderness area is very important. And there's many compasses out on the market. Today, I'm going to talk to you about two types of compasses. The first is going to be a Lenzetta compass, and the second is going to be a base plate compass. Now, these are the two compasses I like using, and then at the end, I'm going to go tell you which one I prefer to use over the other. So the first compass I'm going to talk to you about is the Lenzetic compass. Now, this compass is the compass that the military uses. It's a very durable compass, and you can use it in very harsh environments. It has a metal body which gives it its durability. This is the compass that I used when I was in the Army. Now, they call this a Lenzetta compass because of that lens in the back that's used as a magnifying glass to get your reading on the dial. So it's a very accurate way to get a very precise measurement or precise azimuth. So when you're shooting your azimuth, you're going to look through that magnifying glass, that lens there, and you're going to watch the dial and then get your reading at that point. And I'm going to post some other videos here on my channel about this Lenzetta compass and talk to you more about the functions and the features. So again, this is a very durable compass. Uh, military teams around the world utilize it. It has a free floating dial there. There's no liquid in that dial. So that means you don't have to worry about it bubbling up at higher elevations. The whole dial rotates, which means you can use it on very steep inclines. So it's great for mountaineering. On the dial, you have red numbers, which are in degrees, which is what you're going to utilize to get your azimuth, and you have black numbers, which are in mils, and that's for very precise measurements. And usually uh, units such as the artillery units will utilize it to get the precise measurements for them. Now, there are some downsides to this particular compass. The first is that you have two types. You have a northern hemisphere model and you have a southern hemisphere model. This compass does not have a global needle, which means you have to buy it for the particular hemisphere that you're going to be navigating in. Uh, and that could be a drawback uh, in a lot of respects uh, for individuals uh, who don't have a global needle compass. The second thing is getting or using this compass with magnetic declination. It can be difficult, so you really have to understand this compass and uh, know how it works for you to utilize it with magnetic declination. And I could, will post a video on, on that. Uh, later uh, here on my YouTube channel as well. The third thing is the cost. Uh, this compass over the years has gone up in cost and this runs anywhere between $100 to about $130 online depending on where you get it. But a very good compass to use in a wilderness area and uh, I still utilize it uh, today. Second compass I'm going to talk to you about is the base plate compass. Now, this compass is the uh, Sunto MC2G compass. This compass is a global needle compass. Now, with this compass, you don't have to worry about uh, buying it for a particular hemisphere that you're going to be navigating in. Uh, the global needle allows you to use it anywhere in the world. So you have to understand that compasses, the needles on compasses are what's magnetized, and they're balanced depending on where you're at in the world because of that magnetic pull on the needles. So having a global needle compass is great because you don't have to worry about purchasing it for a specific area that you're going to be navigating in. The next thing on this base plate compass is that on the back here, you can adjust it for magnetic declination, uh, which is really simple. Something you can't do on the Kamenga. So you set it and you forget it. Really simple to use, and I really enjoy having that feature on a compass. This compass is a very functional. Now, uh, military units use the Kamanga, but many military units and teams are starting to go and utilize a base plate compass, such as a Sunto, for their operations because it's multifunctional. It has a mirror there for sighting when you're shooting your azimuth, but you can also, also utilize that mirror in survival situations uh, to signal individuals if you need to. It has a magnifying glass in here to view small objects on a topographical map, as well as starting a fire in a survival situation. 
Uh, the compass is made of plastic, which doesn't give it its uh, durability as that of the Kamenga. But with this clear base plate here, when you put it on a map, you can do uh, easy computations because you can see the map below the uh, compass here, whereas that would be very difficult with the Kamenga. It has a clinometer on it, with that black needle there, allows you to get angles and slopes. It also has a slope ruler here, which a lot of people don't know and they don't know how to utilize, and that's used for determining the uh, distance or the angle between contour lines on topographical maps. So it tells you how steep that terrain is going to be. Uh, it has a luminous dial. And by the way, the uh, Kamenga has tritium in it, which uh, is uh, very bright, especially for nighttime operation. And this one here is also uh, luminous, but it's not as bright as the Kamenga. Overall, this compass is a great compass, and a lot of uh, civilians utilize this particular compass. And again, military teams around the world are starting to uh, use this compass as well. Some individuals in the military units uh, have told me that they have this compass in their bug out bag uh, because it's very uh, multifunctional, especially in survival situations. This compass comes in about between $50 to $80 online, depending on uh, where you purchase it. So, which, uh, which compass do I prefer using when I'm in a wilderness area? Both are equally good compasses, but the compass that I prefer using is the base plate compass, which is the Sunto MC2G compass. And the reason why is because it's a global needle compass, number one. Number two, it's easy to adjust the magnetic declination on the back. You set it and forget it. And also, it's very multifunctional. So in a survival situation, you can utilize this compass or different things such as signaling, starting a fire, etc. So again, my choice when it comes to compass selection would be utilizing the base plate compass, but it's not to say that I wouldn't utilize the uh, Kamenga Lenzetta compass as well. So again, it's your choice. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, post them below and I'll get back to you with an answer.